Hello everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2 and I have a project flip through. This journal will be for sale in our Etsy shop and I'll leave the link for, for that down below. This is a design team project for NevermoreCreations17.com. Uh, Lindsay Zanor has journals, journal supplies, and digi kits, so please check out her information down below. I used her kit entitled Flamingo Fancy. So uh, let's see what we've got here. This journal is five and a half by, sorry, five and a half by eight and three quarters. The spine is one and three quarters inches wide. And can you believe it? This is a repurposed book. So this book cover came this pink color, which is crazy. It's a crazy pink. It just screamed flamingo to me. Um, I redid the spine, made it uh, thicker, and I covered it with this flamingo fabric. And this image here is from Lindsay's kit. And on the side here, I have uh, mixed uh, fiber, um, let's say dangle, but it's uh, dangle tassel. It's a tassel. Why can't I think of that? And it has a flamingo charm here. And this is removable with just attached with the bulldog clip. So I'll just remove that. And the closure is a double ribbon closure. I've got um, beads on my signature strings. There are two signatures, um, 100 pages in the journal. And uh, let's just open it up and see what it is here. So you can see, see what we got going on. All right, so here is front pocket. There's some ribbon down here. Flamingo ribbon was so cute. I think I found that at Hobby Lobby. Uh, so here's a layered up tag, a little collaging, and uh, it's backed with um, cardstock, decorated cardstock. This is paper I had in my stash. This is paper from my stash as well. Um, in this pocket is hand marble. Ink, hand ink marbled paper um, that I made and here is beet dyed paper. It's a full sheet uh, with a pattern, a little polka dot pattern on it and just tuck those things right in this front pocket here. So this is um, a fold out page and I'm not sure I think this might be a Wendy invention. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, my sister had um, made one of these in the journal that she made for me and so I I loved it so much I decided to make one in this journal as well so what what it is I took the clip off um, and it folds out like this and so you've got three different places for things in here this pocket just has a tag on it a little collage tag this was the front of that uh, that, I, that I already showed you and then you can open it in this way. It also has the three pages. So here's a side tuck here. And here I just um, I just glued on with a hinge. I glued on this tag so it just flips open like that. And all of those accordion fold back in and then I just have it held with a clip there. All right, so here's just some paper from my stash. Um, I had a couple of different nature books with flamingos in it. So here's the first one and I took that page out. This is avocado dyed paper here. Um, I glued a pocket onto this page or did I sew it? I sewed a pocket onto this page and I just I have a piece of ephemera in there and the back of this is open and so it becomes a pocket as well. So here's an image from one of or from the flamingo fancy kit. All right, some flamingo washi tape that I found. I had some pink mulberry paper there, a uh, little flamingo stamp that I had. Uh, this is from Lindsay's kit, some more stamping. Lindsay's kit there. Here's a paper bag that I uh, put in there. Here's a little collaging. And these images are from the kit. Uh, I have a lot of tea stain paper and um, a lot of the paper I didn't stain at all so it's got the white so you can probably see right here so I've got a mixture of tea stained and white 
Isn't that pretty? I love some of these. Oops, I went a little too fast. So here's collaging, paper from Lindsay's kit, a little bit of collaging here, some heart shaped, and it's got two flamingos in there. Here's the center of the signature. I just, I didn't do anything with this image. I thought it was just gorgeous, just stunning. So I left that like that. This paper, this bright pink, is actually um, tie dye dyed paper. And so um, I like to use that with, um, in particular, I had red and green. And so, so the red dye is sort of pink. And so this bright, bright pink, I have enjoyed using those in my Christmas journals. I think that they, uh, they're just so so vibrant. I think it's a fun fun look for a Christmas journal, but it also worked with this one. I thought pretty well. So this has a little bit of rickrack on here, just some decorative paper and an image from the kit. Um, another paper from the kit. Here's a pocket from the kit with a little decorative stitching and a ribbon down here. And I did a little collaging on this index card. Here's the other side of that paper bag. It's a little paper I had in my stash and some collaging with um, part of the kit. This is from the kit as well. Another page from Lindsay's. This is um, from my stash. The other side of that mulberry paper, there's some stamping. A little side tuck here with some images. Um, these are from the kit and this is just plain and this was also paper from my stash. Here's the other side of the avocado dyed paper, the other side of the um, nature book that I had. And now these are, um, this signature in particular had cardstock for the cover and also cardstock for the part of the flip out. So there are two decorative cardstock pieces right there. Here's the beginning of the second signature, and this is layered up with ribbon and rickrack. This is an image from the kit. Um, here's a pocket from the kit and just some papers I had in my stash. Another avocado dyed paper there. Beautiful image from the kit. Some tea staining fun pattern there. This is a pocket I made from one of her images as well. And um, I just made a sort of like a bookmark with a little bit of um, torn paper on the back. Image from the kit. Another image from the kit. This has just a ruffled ribbon on it. And I have this magnetic um, magnetic uh, page marker uh, paper clip type thing. Um, so here's some paper I had in my stash which was, it's so adorable with all those flamingos. So here's washi tape and stamping. Um, so I have a paper bag in this signature as well, only this one is pink, as you can see. And I made a little pocket out of this index card, and here is, oh, one of my tags fell out. So this one says, Stand Tall, and here's um, the stamp of the Flamingo. And I just had stuck those tags down in that pocket, and then put them in the bag there. I had another piece of mulberry paper, I just thought the color was so pretty in here. So I put that in there as well. This is an image from the kit. Image from the kit as well. And I just collaged it up here and I put a little tassel down there. And here is another flamingo page. Has some mallards on the other side, which are also very beautiful, but I pretty much got it for that flamingo there. This is the center of the signature. I just put a little image on top of these flying uh, flamingos, which are so pretty. The signature strings do have beads on them, and you can you can definitely cut those off if you don't like them. Little rickrack there, and this other side of the nature page. Here's a very tiny tuck with just some little things in it: little paper and a little tag. And. Kind of coming to the other half of some of that stuff. Washi tape here, a little, little fold out of the beautiful flamingo. Another paper from the kit, paper from my stash there. A little washi tape. The other side of the page from the kit here is also another sheet of the tie-dye dyed paper. Here's a CD um, envelope, and inside is a sheet that's folded into fourths, and this is um, hand-marbled paper, and I just um, put a little flamingo heart on the 
on the envelope to decorate that up. There's washi tape here, image from the kit. This is another image from the kit, and I just put a little paper in the back of it. This is the other side of the avocado dyed paper, and here's the end of the signature. So that is it. Um, on the back, I put a side tuck here, and I made a little card uh, out of cardstock, and I did some sewing, and there's a little, little tassel trim on there, and that's the end of the book. So, um, I can't remember if I said it, there are a hundred pages to the book, and um, I guess that's it. Please check out Lindsay, please check out our links, which I will have down below, and thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody!